Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, I have a package for you, sir. Package? I am not expecting any package. I, uh, it's actually arrived at our office yesterday. I think he's from London. You're Mr. Joseph, right? Uh, uh, yes, I am. And it carries your address too. It's for you. I'm not sure. Yes, sir, sir, could, could you help me just sign? Okay. Sure, let's say so. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, one more thing. Please, uh, I am very thirsty. I don't know if you can help me with a glass of water. Excuse me. What are you doing here? I never remember ushering you into my house. Uh, well, I didn't want to stress you coming to the door, so I took the liberty to come. Here is the water. You may drink and leave, please. Thank you. You have a beautiful wife. Thank you, but the compliment is not necessary. Please, you may leave my house. Young man, I don't know what you want. Please leave my house before I call the police on you. I mean right now. I see. You will be on for this. Who the hell are you? And what do you want from me?
Please. I'm very sorry for being rude to you earlier. I was just in a bad mood. Now that I know your strength, please, what do you want? See, anything, anything, just name it. I'll cooperate with you, please. Just don't hurt me. Now listen. Listen real good. I don't want your money or any other thing. Just cooperate with me and very soon I'll be out of your life. Do you how it feels? Do you know how it feels to be broken? The pain that comes with it's worse. What's worse than feeling jealous and broken and lonely? What's worse than feeling jealous and broken and lonely? And cheated on. Now, now that you, you don't want my money or anything from me. So why are you doing this? Doing this out. No, no. My, my, uh, nobody, nobody. No, 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 nobody, right? Nobody. Okay. Uh, I will have to find out myself, okay? Big man. Don't close this now. I'm sorry for the things that I did to you. I'm sorry, I regret it. See, I never thought that you would walk away from me. Now I've been missing you lately. I find it hard to sleep lately. You got me regretting. But how could you do these things to the one that you claim to love? How could you be like this to the one that you hold so dear? These are things that I don't understand. These are things that I can't come to terms with. How could you do these things to the one that you claim to love? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shots, some shots we've taken. But baby, we could try one more time to pull the trigger and take another shot. At romance We could have another chance at this I swear, I swear I'll do better I promise I'll do better than the first time Cause this would be the last time
please. I, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I lied to you, please. Neighbors, so we um, trying to disturb you. We overheard some noise and um, we thought we'd come check out if there's police were here. Oh, okay. is everything okay here? Yeah, everything is okay. Um, we turned the TV. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, don't worry, I'll turn the volume. Down. Um, but sorry, you, your face doesn't look familiar. Are you in any way related to Ogaju? Ogaju, yeah, yeah. I I work for him. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the good day. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. What you did is good. Thank you. Right. Who are you? And where's my husband? Um, uh, welcome, madam. My name is Jericho, and I am friends with your husband. He's in the kitchen. Have we met? Because I, I don't remember meeting you. I know all my husband's friends. Well, I guess we haven't met because I just met your husband a while ago. Moreover, you look like you are a busy woman. Because uh, I've been here a couple of times. So, anyways, come on. Welcome home.
Cause the things that I can't come to terms with How could you do these things To the one that you claim to love Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What does she want from us? This is really getting serious Please, sir, whatever that it is, please, I just want you to know that I am not a part of it. And neither am I a part of his political views. And as you can see... stop and be reasonable for once. Huh? Stop being selfish here. <laughs> my, my brother, please. Sorry yeah. about that. I have to leave it on that. Please, just, just, just take it. Uh, uh, how could you be this selfish? So you have that money and I called you yesterday requesting for just 700,000 naira and you told me you don't have the money? Huh? Seriously, Anita, are you going to do this right now? In this predicament? D did you even bother to know what I needed the money for? Did you? I cut my business trip shop because of that money. Here I you are. need both of you to shut those pits on your faces and listen to me I am not here for your money neither am I your therapist or marriage counselor all I need is your absolute cooperation and before you know it, I'll be out of your lives. <laughs> However, I will not hesitate to shoot you if you mess with me. Please, please, sir. I need, I need a favor from you. I. Hope it's something I can oblige you. Please, I I need you to. Please, my hands are getting really numb. I need you to loosen up a bit, please. I am very sure you meant for that to come out as a comic relief to ease the tension. No, 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 sir. I, I'm dead serious, sir. Okay, let's do this. I have about um, 500,000 naira in my bag. Please just pick it and loosen the tape for me, please. I beg you, please. You what? <laughs> Who is the devil here now? Anita, you have 500,000 naira cash! Will you just shut up? Why are you so annoying? Eh? I'm just trying to... What is wrong with both of you? Were you forced on each other or something? designer I mean he's my tailor all right let's get to meet Chike hello what's up honey today the few days with you was just fun we just spent the seven days together as intended yeah hope you're home now because I'm going to get a seven First, you lie. 
now she's a fellow. Wow. A wolf of liars. Can I get one more shot if it gets Can we pull the trigger if it's one more I think use that washroom I mean our bedroom is just right here I want to use the master's bedroom please Listen woman I am not as patient as your husband to go 30 seconds to decide if you want to use the restroom or not. Please, no. I'm much more comfortable here. Please, just allow me to use this one. Hmm? Go ahead. And you, are you going to stand and watch me do my thing? I'm sure you don't want to know what life looks like in the other world. I it was actually huh? please do not do not do not Rules are not to be broken. <laughs> you don't talk, except I ask you to. Yes, too. <laughs> good boy. Good chicken. That's very good.
Now, I don't know what to make of the situation, but I intend to get to the root. All I wanted to do was just stay here for a little while and then make a move when I get the signal. I mean, I see some blurry secrets here and I intend to unravel it all. Hey, you. Hey. I need you to know that I will not hesitate to use this little piece if you try to mess with me. Is that clear? Beautiful. That is so beautiful. So tell me, who is she to you? <laughs> she, uh, 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 this. I I mean to say she 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 she's my girlfriend. Oh, what? I like this direction. All right. So, how did you meet? How long have you been dating? We've been we've been dating for nine months. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh my my name is uh Chiki. I am Mrs. Anita's personal designer. Oh, okay. I'm Pamela. 
Mr. David is my boss. I'm his personal assistant. It's nice to meet you. Oh, the feeling is mutual. Um, well, he's not around, so, uh, um, so I guess it's wrong timing. Oh, yeah, I know that. Um, actually, he sent me to deliver some things. That's why I'm here. Okay. Oh, well, uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, yeah, sorry, if you don't mind, I, I, I'd love to um, get your number or something. I'll call you sometime, you know, if you know what I mean. Right, have a great day. You too. That's how we met. So, I guess you spent the night here, right? I see, what I don't understand is why you woke up in the master's bedroom. Maybe you want to tell us why. Like, like I said, Dr. Joseph was my boss. I mean, I... I, I lied. We were actually lovers. He he would normally he would normally invite me over to the house whenever whenever his wife is not around, and and even when when she's around, the whole drama was his idea. Pal, you've been. You, you, you've been lying to me all this while? You've also been lying. You, 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 you're a you cheat, you're wicked. Didn't you say you had a law? Hmm? Didn't you say you had a law? Yeah, yeah. You've been sleeping with her. And you've been, you, you've you, been sleeping with and this old woman. Didn't you tell me that he, you're so, so, some, so some secretary or something? You're so I mean, I mean you've been sleeping with this, this. You're this, a bastard. You're, you're a monster. You're a bitch. You're, you're, you're worse. Please. You're worse than Jezebel. Shut up. No, so, so. Why are you still talking? I said, shut up, I can shoot you. So, you, you mean you didn't know she was dating Jojo? No, but, yeah, but, but. Shh, it's okay. Relax, okay? I get it. Wow. Now that you know, how does this feel? Okay. You see that you should get married. You don't have families to see. I mean, what you have to see too is that you have to get yourself up to the place of your life. And you see that it's not going to happen. I don't know if you're spotting it. But that's not what you told me now. Not what you tell me with that. What are you saying? Don't tell me bullshit. What do you talk? Now, what do you agree with that? You have tried one. Hello? 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 Shit, 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 shit!
I had to battle with my conscience just to do this. I mean, I appeared like the devil's personal aid. Then, seeing you all, I feel like I've not even done shit compared to you guys. You know what? You guys are the real MVPs. Well, see, it's not entirely my fault, boss. She needed me to always warm her bed because her husband here was uh, sterile. Balls. That's some real dipshit. Well, I think she's in the right position to testify to that. Is your sugar Jojo sterile? Well, to the, to the best of my knowledge, he's he's actually very active sexually. As as far as I'm concerned, every every moment with him was was the best I've ever had. He's good. Compared to some people that I know. Hmm. She says you're very good. Very good, Jojo. Do you know how it feels? Do you know how it feels? To be broken The pain that comes with it It's worse What's worse than feeling jealous And broken <coughs> and lonely <sighs> mm -hmm. What's worse than feeling jealous And broken and lonely And cheated on but how could you do these things to the one that you claim to love? How could you be like this to the one that you hold so dear? I know you guys want me to lose you now, right? I can't do that right now. Yeah. You know, it's got to go. So we're all going to pretend like nothing happened. So that. When I have the chance, I'll get the gun. And then I'll have a fair fight with him. Hey. I'm sorry for the things that I did to you. I'm sorry. I regret it. See, I never thought that you would walk away from me. Now I've been missing you lately. Find it hard to sleep lately. You got me regretting where my baby Thank you. 
Give me one good reason why I will shoot you now. I know what is good for you. Get up quietly and leave my house. Yes, I'll shoot you. Get up now. I'll shoot you. You know, people like me, we're thinking we are the worst creatures on earth because of the things we have done. But then I meet folks, I mean, folks like you, and I begin to feel like a saint. Jojo, what could ever make you mess up your marriage just like you've done? I was married to the most beautiful woman God ever created. She was so loving, caring, I mean, quite understanding. You know, 
she got promoted in her place of work and trouble struck. Yes, it just was the part that we're going to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You send that one across over to them. And then um, this one, make sure they get it. Um, the whole uh, measurement, right? Um, like. Okay. Um, I'm stepping out for a meeting. I'll be back before you know it, okay? It's Saturday afternoon. Not even a meal is prepared for me. Come on, honey. You know my work. Uh, you know, I have this general manager's meeting I have to attend to. Please, just sit to yourself, okay? Please. On a Saturday afternoon? Baby. Please, don't start this. I need to go. I'm running late, okay? Eh? Just... How long do I have to put up with this? Come on, Lisa. I can... I can fix you something to eat. You will? Thank you. I mean, I mean... Honestly, I was sincerely uh, happy with her big promotion place of work but little did I know that that was the straw that would break the camel's back Pamela right here excelled in every area that Anita failed she took care of me prepared my meals wouldn't let me go to the restaurant to eat Anita got so busy with her work. <laughs> and due to, due to her negligence, we lost our only child. Oh, Karina. Oh, so her death is now on my hands, right? Were you a saint in all these happenings? Huh? <laughs> There you are, blaming me for everything. What about the times that I make advances to you and you turn me down? And even if you do, you treat me like a fucking whore. Huh? Oh, come on. Several times you also turned down my advances at you. What man will get easily aroused when he has gotten turned down by his wife several times? You're so selfish. You are so good at blaming people. This is the selfish part of you. You always think about yourself and yourself alone. Come on, shut up. I've never seen any creation God created on earth that is as selfish as, 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 as you are. And because of your negligence, you refuse to go pick our only daughter from school and she got run down by a car. There is it. You are shifting blames. You like shifting blames. How in the heaven's name would I supposed to know that you can't go and pick her at school? How would you when you refuse to take your calls? You didn't respond to your text messages. I hate you, Anita. I, I hate you too. I hate you. I hate you. I'm you. I hate you. See, 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 where is that your gun? Please, I wish I used it well when I had it in my hands. I would have shot you yeah. right now. I have something to say. Say a very big sorry to to Mrs. Joseph for being a part of the forces that led to the chaos in your family. 
What makes you feel it's your fault? They have their faults in this whole episode that just unraveled. You don't understand. If I had told Dr. Joseph to go mend fences with his wife, or better still, mend it the fence, when he approached me, it wouldn't have gotten this far. Ma'am, please, I beg for your forgiveness. I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm really sorry. It, it's, it's fine. I've forgiven you. I mean, I, I think I also let things go out of hands. So, it's okay. What has happened so far is as a result of their carelessness. This relationship had no communication until its dying day. I mean today. The relationship lacked communication until it crashed. Myself and Pamela have been quite selfish. We allowed our selfishness to take the best out of us. Just because we wanted to achieve our personal goals, we stepped on these toes without thinking about the repercussions. Mr. Joseph, I'm sorry. I have a place in your heart to forgive. Forgive me. Mrs. Joseph. I am Sharon Johnson with the news flash. The Inspector General of the Nigerian Police Force has placed a bounty of 5 million naira as a reward for anyone with information on the whereabouts of the person whose photo is displayed on the screen. He is an escaped prisoner in the recent jailbreak and is currently on the run. Anyone with vital information on his whereabouts should call the emergency numbers displayed on your screen. Thank you. So you're actually here to hide because you're wanted? At the expense of others, no minding the pain you're going to cause? Well, you know. Now let's see what it is. The geodrecker, not the delivery guy, the crazy guy. Well, people like me are the bad guys, so it feels awkward saying you crumble the beautiful home you have struggled to build 
over the years. But was a gentle, loving father and husband. This was never me. So they were all clean when he gets to this stage. I'm telling you the story because I feel I owe you an explanation. However, you can choose to believe it or leave it. My wife and I had a beautiful, loving daughter. On her 50th birthday, my wife, who was pregnant with our second child, went to the market, but was knocked down by a drunk driver who happened to be the son of a prominent politician. They both died. The case was battered in court. But we lost because we had no one to back us up. So I took the laws into my hands. And I landed in jail. After spending eight years out of 25 years imprisonment, I was diagnosed of cancer. Smokers are liable to die young, yeah? If I smoke, I will die. If I don't, I will die. What? Why do you say that? Because I have seven days to live. And I wish to see my daughter before I die. Can I get one more shot at forgiveness? Can we pull the trigger and take one more shot at love? Cause I believe in our love. Yeah, yeah. It's been heavy on my conscience. My conscience don't know how I let go of something special. Something special. I'll take every blame I could. If I need to, I need to save this love. Oh, oh, oh. One more chance, one more shot could be enough to fix everything that we lost. We could.
could take this chance, take this shot, if we still believe in our love. go far can't believe how i let you slip through my fingers if we could take this chance we could fix everything that's been broken i am so sorry about everything that has happened I neglected my first duties as a mother and a wife before becoming the regional manager that I am. My folly has caused us the life of one only daughter. <laughs> please, please, please forgive me. I just sincerely apologize. It's okay. So ask for your forgiveness. You know, I, I played ignorance where I should have communicated with you. And I'm really sorry. But if you give me another chance, I, I love you like never before again. Here's how we can go back to the way we used to be. Right? <laughs> yeah. I love you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love you. Okay, uh, I spoke with a friend a while ago, uh, and he introduced uh, Jana here to us. Jana is a black transporter, so he's going to successfully help uh, Jericho cross over the country. He knows all the nooks and crane on how to smuggle people out of the country, so, yeah. You, you mean you, you do that for me? After holding you hostage in your home. Yeah, you see, uh, Jericho, you holding us hostage is sort of a blessing to us. I, I mean, it got us to realize how stupid we've been. And uh, somehow, we should be thanking you for coming into our lives. Yeah, we wish you the best and uh, hope you have a wonderful and a successful trip over. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm grateful. Yeah. Well. Thank you. Please ensure, make sure you ensure his safety. Get him across successfully, no traces. Do you know how it feels? Do you know how it feels to be broken? 
Love. 